The music alphabet names the pitches. A, B, C, D, E, F, G continues on with another A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. It could continue on theoretically into infinity. Here we have C right between the staffs, and next note up is D. This is low D, middle D, high D. First register, middle register, high register. On the flute and the piccolo, all the Ds have a unique fingering. Here we have a fingering chart. Um, it shows us, first of all, the notes on the staff, labels them, and at the bottom, it shows us a diagram that has been filled in to show the fingerings. These fingerings, um, each one is unique for each octave. Starting with our lowest octave, we would take and cover. Uh, the thumb is going to be used for all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and no fourth finger, no pinky down here at the bottom. This is the lowest note, and it's often difficult to get it to speak when you are new to the flute, so you can work down to it. That's the sound of low D. Next, we would simply lift our first finger in the left hand. You can see that that is blank on the chart. You lift the first finger, and you still do not use this little finger down here. This is because this key down here is actually called the D sharp key. You can see it on the piccolo. It's the only low key that we have down here operated by our little finger. So that since it's the D sharp key and we are trying to get D natural, we just don't use it. So we um, have our low D is three here, three here, thumb, no pinky. To get the next D, we simply raise this finger. To get the upper D, we're going to vent even more. We're going to leave these three fingers of the right hand to come up. And you can see on our diagram that that's exactly what has happened. But you can also see, aha, we put down that small finger and um, it's going to take care of some other um, intonation things that need to happen. So, you can hear how each uh, time we go up, we vent our flute in a different spot. Let's listen to all of them. Yeah. 